we become seasonal Muslims. You know what is seasonal Muslims? That when it's seasoned, we become Muslim. When it's not seasoned, again, we leave, we leave Islam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save us. When it's seasoned, we pray salah. When it's not seasoned, we don't pray salah. Salah is every time. Five times a day, salah is compulsory. The taraweeh salah was sunnah. Fajr salah is farad. If you missed your taraweeh salah, there's a great chance that Allah ta'ala may forgive you. Because it was a sunnah. If you missed your Fajr Salah, then there's no forgiveness. Then you have to make it up before you die. Illa mashallah. Illa mashallah. This is the law of Allah. That your Farad Salah needs to be, needs to be corrected. Alhamdulillah, our masajid get full, full at the time of Eid. Eid Salah is Sunnah. I'm not saying don't pray your Eid Salah. We should be praying it and we should be celebrating the day of Eid. But Fajr Salah is Farad. Why is it that our masajid are empty at the time of Fajr and full at the time of Eid? Are we, have we become seasonal Muslims? I'm asking myself that same question. And you need to ask yourself the same question that where have we gone wrong? Why is it that the help of Allah is not coming? Why is it that the Nusrat of Allah is not coming? Why is it that the Ummah is suffering? 95% of the Ummah is not on Salah. The, the basics of Deen. Buni al-Islam ala khams. Shahadati Allah ilaha illallah wa anna muhammadar rasulullah wa iqami salah wa ita'i zakah wa hajjil bayt wa sawmi ramadan that this, these are the pillars of Islam man aqama salah faqad aqama al-deen man hadama salah faqad hadama al-deen this wasn't my topic I went on to it that whoever establishes salah he has established deen and whoever has destroyed his salah he has destroyed deen the deen and Islam and the good deeds that we will do will have a physical form on the day of Qiyamah. Will have a physical form in our graves. It comes in one hadith that when a person is lowered in his grave, then the punishment attacks him. The punishment, and the punishment of the grave and the serpents of Jahannam, they'll try to attack him from the right hand side, from the left hand side, from the side of his head, from the side of his feet. On one side his salah will come and stop. His salah will protect. On the other side, his zakat will protect him. On the other side, his Quran will protect him. On the other side, his iman and other amals will protect him. Now, this protection will only happen if we have done those amal. If we have, if we have done that work. So let us also try, my dear respected elders and brothers, to preserve our amal. In the month of Ramadan, alhamdulillah, we prayed our salah, we prayed our taraweeh, we prayed our Qur'an. Allah Ta'ala says in the Qur'an, وَلَا تَكُونُوا كَلَّتِي نَقَدَتْ غَزْلَهَا مِنْ بَعْدِ قُوَّةٍ أَنْكَاثَا There was a woman in Mecca. She used to spun her yarn throughout the day. And at the end of the day, she used to rip it apart in shreds and in threads. And this was her sickness. That whole day she used to sit, spun the yarn, and thereafter rip it apart. So she became an example in, for the people of Mecca. So Allah Ta'ala used the same example. That don't be like that woman that had done a hard work in spinning the yarn and thereafter, by end of the day, she rips it apart. Don't be like that person who has performed salah throughout the month of Ramadan. We have made excessive du'as. We cried in front of Allah. And then when Eid day comes, we're blasting music. La hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. When Eid day comes, we have forgotten our Zahar salah. We have forgotten our Asar Maghrib salah. When Eid day comes, we trim our beards. When Eid day comes, uh, we, fo we follow the lifestyle of the West, of the Kuffar, and we celebrate. Uh, we forget who is our mahram, who is not our mahram, and we start celebrating. Is this how we celebrate our Eid? On the day of Eid, we're supposed to get more closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yes, by all means, be happy. Enjoy with your family members. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Bainha ayyam aklin wa shurbin wa bi'al." That it is the days of eating, it is the days of drinking, it is the day, days of merry making. So enjoy, but enjoy in a halal manner. Allah subhanahu wa taala grant me, you, and one and all the tawfiq wa akhiru da'wana. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil alamin.